Uh, we're going to field a few questions once again from within the room, and then we're going to open it up to the media. Denise, you were just talking about life in lockdown a moment ago, but we're back into a fight week now. Just tell us how excited you are to, to be here in Milan. Well, I just tell you right now that this is this is such a crazy time and how you see how the COVID affects so many people in so many ne negative way. And um, yeah, I feel blessed that I'm now here and I'm able to fight and to fight on this fight card and in beautiful Milan be back here. So yeah, I feel just blessed and just happy to be back and happy that uh, to even in this critical time that we can fight and we be able to do our work. So uh, yeah, feeling blessed. Before the um, extended break, um, you built up a lot of momentum um, in Bellator, three wins in the space of eight months. Um, how have you used that break to sort of ensure that you carry on that momentum now that, that we're back? Well, um, the seven months of COVID, I just keep training. So even uh, we don't that the, the gyms are closed, I just be creative and train outside. And I'm lucky that my husband, Hesti Gerges, is also a fighter. So we both know what to do, you know. So we just trained a little bit different, but we trained. And that's why I also when uh, COVID was done, uh, when the gyms are open again, I see that my condition was not that far uh, back so yeah in COVID time we make the best of it and we train a lot of outside and um, yes I'm just blessed that uh, also Hesti has the same mentality that we don't sit still so COVID makes us a lot of stronger not on only uh, physical but al also mental because that time I used a lot to focus on my mental part and be stronger in that so yeah, that's the part that I just see the positive thing about the COVID time. And that's why I feel also now really, really good. And your opponent on, on Thursday night is, is Kate Jackson, who challenged for the title last time she fought. And did you watch that fight? And if so, what did you learn about her? Yes, I saw that fight and it was a really, really good fight. And she, uh, yeah, she was a good opponent, but I see also some weaknesses and I think that her weakness is going to be my straight. So, yeah, talking about that fight was a really good fight. But I expect now an another another version of Kate Jackson. And I will expect the best version of Kate Jackson. So, yeah, this is going to be a different fight, different opponent, because I am not like Alima Lay. But we will see. And for sure, I will do my best to make the win for me. Santiago? Good afternoon from Amsterdam. How are you doing, Denise? Good, good. Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> you are on a stunning three-fight winning streak with three different finishes. How good are you feeling since working with Bob Schreiber? Really, really good. He, uh, you know, he makes a special flame in me and I have a special connection with him because everything that he say, I believe. And I believe that he's going to make a champion of me. And my straightness he brings that up you know and i even don't even realize by myself that i that i can do that so sometimes with my if i win a fight i'm just like surprised by myself because i think oh can i really do that and that is what really bob is bringing the best out of me so yeah bob he is incredible and i really believe that he gonna make an mma champion out of me I love Bob's energy. Yeah, I love to hear from him on Thursday. So last year we spoke to each other in London and back then you told me that you wanted Bellator to create a straw weight division because you can easily make that weight. Is that still on your mind? Yes, um, um, I'm still, uh, you know, my weight has never been a problem. Um, right now, Bob also told me that I cannot be that light anymore because in the flyweight division is not really really good to be that light so um yeah we work a lot of on also uh, 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 about my power so that's why i'm now just exactly on uh, the flyweight um uh, category i'm uh, right now 57 57 uh, 75 kilograms <laughs> and uh, i'm just right on weight i don't have to lose weight i don't have to cut weight but you never know, maybe in the future, because now it's really easy to lose weight and I don't have an even make 
uh, really big, big effort to uh, get on this weight. So maybe in the future, you never know, strong weight division. You never know. I let I just let the, the universe just decide for me what's best for me. But right now, I'm focusing on the flyweight belt. And then last thing for me, Denise, what would it mean for you if Bellator would come to Amsterdam next year? That will be so, so, so amazing if Bellator comes to Amsterdam. Just that's, that, that's like a big dream, you know. And I know that a lot of people in Holland, because now we have a lot of Dutch fighters, uh, and I know that a lot of people in Holland now waiting for Bellator to come to Amsterdam or come to Holland. And yeah, for me, it's just like a dream come true. So I really hope that now in this difficult time, it, we maybe we have to to uh, wait a little bit later. But I hope next year that Bellator for sure comes to Amsterdam because I know the people want it. I know the crowd love to see it. And I know that Bellator are gonna love Amsterdam because there's no other place like Amsterdam. <laughs> Steve? Denise, thank you for the time as always. You're such a pleasant, outgoing, upbeat fighter and it's so easy to get behind you in fighting does it bother you when opponents then are disrespectful and say things like well she's just not as good on the ground as i am even though you finished your last two fights with submissions you know um i believe that if opponents just breaking someone else off or just want to you know say something that's something about their confidence and i see it as somebody say something uh, about me, about my fighting style, or they have something to say. You know, I see in a negative way. Um, it's something that that's. It's all about confidence, you know. And if you have confidence enough, you don't like bringing your opponent down. And I believe that if they talk more, it's going to be more straight for me. So, yeah, we will see. I I don't care what what my opponents will say. It's all about what cares in the ring or in the cage. And that's something that I'm going to show. Given that Kate Jackson fought for the flyweight title her last time out, do you feel that a win over her would put you in that position to be fighting for the title? For sure, for sure. You know, she, uh, she, she's definitely my, uh, my biggest um, uh, challenge for now. And I see that my win from her was going to be a next or even a, a next step closer to a title fight. And, you know, I see this also as a title fight. I see every fight as a title fight because every every fight, every fight camp is for me, I give my best and I do my best in everything I do. And every fight camp, I want to be stronger and more, uh, I have more determination to be a complete MMA fighter. And that's also what you can see in my fights that, I'm not just a kickboxer that goes to MMA. I can do both. And right now, at this moment, I feel so strong, also on the ground, also on my feet, on every flag. And that is what we're going to see this Thursday. All right. We look forward to seeing it. Thank you for the time. Thank you. <coughs> Luis? Hi. Is to, how close do you feel are from a title shot? You are five and one in Bellator. What are you planning to do in the future? Thinking on a victory, this Bellator two four seven. Um. I yeah. First, I just focus on this fight, and after this fight, for sure, it it all depends on Bellator. If they want to see me be the next uh, challenger for the title, I'm in it. And if there's going to be another opponent who they who they think they can challenge me, I'm also in it. So I it just depends on Bellator and. Uh, now, for, for me right now, I'm just focusing on, on this fight and to, to, to let show the best of me. And uh, that all depends on the best of me, you know. And if Bellator, after this fight, see, okay, she's going to fight for the title, let's go. And for me, it doesn't matter. I see every fight as a title fight. Every, tight, I, every fight, I just want to show my best, you know. And even if the win is not for a title or just for the win... For me, every win is a title fight. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll take a couple more here. Jake? Hi, Denise. Jake Jones here. Um, Hi. As we mentioned a bit, 
it's been mentioned a bit that with a win here, you go six and one in Bellator, which to me is very deserving of a shot. Your opponent has had last fought for the title. So let's say the title is next. Where would you like that? Would you like it as part of the European series, say in Amsterdam, if they can make that happen? Or would you take the next card that you can get on? Yeah, for me, is of course, the best dream is to fight for the title in my hometown. So Amsterdam would be like, the dream more is the dream is then more complete. So, yeah, I hope maybe we will see that um, that it comes to Amsterdam. But if it is in Amsterdam or somewhere else, you know, the title fight for me is the ultimate goal for my ultimate fighting career. You know, I have uh, I've been the kickboxing champion for years, and um, I have also the the flyweight kickboxing belt for Bellator so my ultimate goal is to be a champion in both both categories so also in kickboxing and also in MMA and that two titles is just the the, the prime of my whole fighting career so if that's going to be in Amsterdam or somewhere else for me it doesn't matter it's going to be more more motivation for me if it is in Amsterdam but if I just look at those titles and see my 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 blue belt and visualizing that the red belt is hanging next to that, then the destination doesn't matter. That's just my ultimate goal, whatever it is. Absolutely, I love that. Um, so just one about your opponent, and these this is probably going to be your toughest fight yet. How do you see the fight playing out with with Kate? Um, I think uh, it's going to be a really, really good fight. I think that Kate, um, um, she's a really good opponent, but like I said, she has some mistakes that she makes, and I see it in every fight that she makes the same mistake. And that mistake is something that's um, going to be my adventure. So, um, yeah, and even if she want to go with me on the ground or stand up, in both sides, I'm, I feel really strong and I feel really powerful and I work a lot. I wor really love work a lot and I work a lot on myself. I work a lot on my skills. So every every fight, you're going to see another Miss Dynamite. So with which game plan she always had, she already have this. Also, this fight is going to be a different fight from my last fight. And I want to show the world that I'm here and I'm here to stay and I'm I'm here to be the next champion. That's great. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Gareth? Yes. Um, hi, Denise. How are you doing? Hi. I'm fine. Thank you. <laughs> Good. Um, as you said, um, you know, it'd be nice to know, um, obviously, say, um, Hesdi, your husband, is obviously a kickboxer as well and a fighter. Um, can you pinpoint for us the moment where were you in a conversation one day or were you over dinner? Were you having a walk? Was it a moment <laughs> in the gym when you suddenly said, you know what? I'm going to MMA now. Can you? Can you <laughs> um, yes, it was like um, the, be, because I, my first, my first love was judo. I am a, I am a Dutch judo champion in the beginning of my early, when I was 16, 15 years old. But uh, then I go start with kickboxing and I really fell in love with that. And, you know, um, being the kickboxing champion for years and also Bellator, the biggest organization of the world, and being also the champion two times in Bellator, that was something that, uh, yeah, who's going to be next? You know, it's not something that I, I already fought every girl in my division in kickboxing. And then Bellator comes with... Uh, with uh with 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 um uh to ask me if i can also do an mma fight one time if i can try that and then i just walked with hesty and we have the same manager damon dalder and he called me and he say you know your next fight for uh bellator you know you now you're defend your world title and you won it again but how about a next mma fight and then I thought, okay, yes, yes, that's that little flame, you know, that's going to burn again. And I thought, yeah, let's do that. So Hesse and I, we decide both. He also says right away, yeah, you have to do that. And now I'm sitting here and more fights away. And 
every time and every day I just fell more and more in love with the whole sport MMA. So, so in a way, it's almost like you've described an evolution when they made that proposal to you. You thought, yeah, it's the next stage of me evolving as a martial artist. So, so it is really just a love of evolution perhaps in you, yeah? Yes, it is. It is. Because first, you know, I, I think that I'm a person that always wanted something to have a goal for. And when I was younger, that was judo. Then I, I a little bit lost my goal. And then I start with kickboxing and I want to be a kickboxing champion in every organization I did. And now my next goal is MMA. So I'm a person that always want to have some like a goal, some like a, a an ultimate thing that's that looks far away, but it's really close if you work hard for it. And that's also something that I like, you know, and I also see it in, 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 my, in all my fighting career years that I always have to do something that is like a goal. And now this MMA is really like my next goal. Um, uh, the last one for me, obviously the, the Vita fight, Vita Ortega fight is a, while, is a while ago now and you were still evolving at the time. Is there any truth? My thinking is this. Kate Jackson's style is a very good test of where you've come to at this point in terms of your game and really does move you forward towards a, a title shot. Am I fair in saying that? Yes, for sure. For sure. Yes, it is. It is. You know, um, that's, that's why I say I see every fight as a title fight and like this fight, I know this fight is going to be the big challenge for me from how do I stand in MMA, you know, and uh, Kay Jackson, she's the, the perfect opponent for me to show that to everyone. And also the fight against Fida, um, that was a really good fight. But if I have to be honest, that time, I don't really let go my kickboxing part. So I still had my head coach as a kickboxer. Yeah. And I still train a lot of kickboxing. I don't do really like typical um, a strategy on the ground. I just do something. And that's also what you can see in that fight, that I was not really like prepared for everything. And that fight, it really, really hurt when I lost that fight. But after that fight, I just make, uh, make a plan from, okay, if I, if I train like this, I'm not going to be a champion because um, kickboxing is just something that you cannot do in the cage, you know, how, how good you are also. But if I let that, that, that thoughts go of, of kickboxing, then I really saw myself growing as an MMA fighter. And that's when I took the plan. Okay, I really need a head coach in MMA. And I really let go all the kickboxing uh, strategy, uh, stand up, everything about kickboxing. I have to to lose that, and that's why I took my uh, my new head coach, Bob Schreiber, and he is just the the perfect trainer that brings out the best of me as an MMA fighter. So uh, yeah, the the Vida fight, I see it as something that really hurts, but I see it also something as the turning point when I really, really, really want to be an MMA fighter and let go of the kickboxing fighter that's in me. So I see it as something that I learn a lot, of, a, a lot from. Thank you for the very, very full answer, Denise. That was brilliant. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much.